So this is kind of my start or my daily vlog while I'm while I'm here. Uh, you'll get a little bit of an echo. Sorry, acoustics of the place. Um, I am staying in a place that's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's called Brook at Bethpage, and just a very nice, quiet place. I've been here before. Not really any cell phone signal. Very minimal, depending upon which company you're with. Uh, there is no internet here. There is no TV here. It's a great place to just kind of tune in, turn off, and forget stuff. <laughs> Which, honestly, for the last several months, I have needed. I um, was supposed to do this back in November, and it didn't happen. And um, it just with all the election stuff, the COVID stuff, uh, the holiday stuff, and everything else, I'm just, I'm fried. Um, wiped out. Frustrated. Um stressed um i have to admit feelings hurt struggling a little bit with depression like a lot of people when they've been going through this and like a lot of ministers um i have to admit i i have been hurt uh by some people uh in particular because i didn't agree with their opinion i didn't take a stand that they thought i should have taken um, and i thought they were mistaken uh, to spell it out more, they thought I should have believed all the stories about the election being thrown and I should have been cheering on the revolution at the Capitol. Um, and I think both are dead wrong. I'm not a fan of our president-elect by any means, but I'm also not going to sit there and m believe and make up lies and fairy tales and myths and other stuff and try to overthrow what the American people have chosen. Um, and who God has appointed. Romans 13. Um, <laughs> and I had some people very upset with me. People that generally... I had a couple that told me so and proceeded to not do it very nicely. Um, but then I had a couple of anonymous, rather not polite things. I'm like, goodness, if you're going to at least attack me, at least stick your name on it. <laughs> But, you know, a couple of people, I'm, I'm very disturbed and disappointed in, in the stand you've taken. I'm, I'm sorry, my stand is based on scripture. My stand is based on actual facts and evidence. Uh, it's not m based on my opinion. It is what is, not what I wish to be or want to believe or am willing to you know, listen to. Um, it, it's been a rough few months. <sighs> I'm... I'm saddened by the direction, and this has been true for the last few years, I'm saddened by the direction I see a lot of believers going in um, by otherwise intelligent, smart, educated, wise people that are letting themselves be duped and deluded, um, brainwashed in a lot of cases, and really have given themselves up to idolatry. It's sad, uh, it's frustrating, and there's nothing I can do, which makes it even worse. Um, I have to admit, I'm frustrated by the condition of the church, and there's not a lot we can do. Um, instead of growing, it's been shrinking, partially because of COVID, a good amount because of COVID, uh, because we can't open the doors and let people in. We can't go out and do the outreach that we want to do. We can't visit people and do socials and things like that, things that would normally be there to bring people in. I can't even do hospital visits because they're closed because of COVID. Um, we've watched the finances. When COVID first hit, they took a big dive. They came back up for a little bit, and then they kind of gradually going down again. Um, and when you only have a handful of people you can bring in the building, what do you do? Um, and so it has been, it's been a hard time, uh, a point in time when I want to see, I want to see revival come. I want to see people truly give their lives to Christ. I want to see people dedicate themselves to God, to see their lives change, to be delivered from all of this stuff and to be helpless, to be able to get that message out and to be able to share and to touch, to shake hands even. And so it, it's been a time when I, I've been wanting to scream and yell at the TV, um, at the news, at social media, at, at watching our society fracture 
and people want to take ridiculous stands against other people because they have a different view, thinking that people who really aren't that different are their enemy. Uh, I have been called names, all sorts of names, because I have a shade of disagreement. Um, you know what? Just because I'm not a radical uh, person willing to shoot somebody who disagrees with me doesn't mean I am the enemy. <laughs> That's... We've forgotten who we serve. We've forgotten our priorities. We've forgotten what we're supposed to be about. And so as I take this week to kind of rest, to kind of recover, to get uninterrupted time, no cell phone, no phone calls constantly, no cell signal, which means no text messages constantly, uh, no internet, which means I'm not getting barraged by emails and other messages, uh, no social media. I'm actually, I'm looking forward to tuning all of, forgive me, the stupidity out and getting back a hold of God, of having time of worship. I've got my guitar here, of practicing and just spending time in his presence. I've got music. Uh, you can see the boom box they've got here and there's all sorts of worship CDs um, and I have some downloaded. Um, I've got two Bibles with me, uh, plus they have others here as well. Uh, and just being able to spend time in his presence in his word and growing closer to him. I've got a stack of books people have given me that I'm looking forward to. I've got five nights, six days, and I've got a lot to do. <laughs> but more importantly, I have a lot to not do and just sit in his presence. Um, looking forward to this week, praying for me, for my family, uh, for our future, for my daughter's trip to Israel, for, or my daughter's trip to Japan, my trip to Israel, and for our society and country and people as a whole. I've got a long prayer list of people that I'm praying for, um, not least of which includes our national leadership. It includes the people in our churches. It includes um, a number of people that have forgotten who they serve um, and a number of people that haven't served God ever, and I wish they would. Uh, people that need to be delivered, people that need to have freedom, people that need healing, people that need hope. And my hope this week is to get back in touch with God in a way that I haven't in a while. So looking forward to it. Um, I'll, I'll try and upload this to the burning bush. We'll see if it goes um, because there is a minute cell signal here and we'll see what happens. Um, but if all goes well over the course of the next few days, I'll get daily videos and, and we'll kind of go from there. And, and you'll kind of see a little bit why I haven't posted on the burning bush in the last two, three weeks with all of this stuff going on because I didn't want to rant and rave. I wanted to let God speak through. It. And so I hope he gets to do that this week. So, ah, deep breath. I can already feel quiet. <laughs> That's a good thing. So um, if you do have prayer requests, and let's go through, please uh, put them in the comments. Let me know. And I will do my best cell signal willing to check in on this once a day while I'm here and make additions to the prayer list and pray for you all and uh, let God see what he can do because I believe in a miracle working God. I am a living, walking miracle and I know what he can do and he can do it for you too. So God bless, looking forward to this week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>